October is National Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. And if you've been thinking about adding a little furry one to your family, we have just the expert in-house to tell us what to expect. Sandra, we know you already have a full house, but who doesn't love a new puppy, 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 puppy? Right, and we just added a new puppy as well. The more, the merrier. All right, I'm here with Christina Rinaldi from the Detroit Dog Rescue. We're so glad to have you here with us I'm this I'm always morning. happy to be here. You guys so let's talk about the increase of the dogs in shelters yes. lately. Obviously, so many looking for a loving home. Why is that happening? So there are... I'm actually glad you asked this question. There's so many reasons. So we had a shelter influx after COVID. Everyone adopted during COVID, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, needed a best friend. But now we're seeing these hurricanes and all of this weather across the country. Dogs are going to be shift, shift around. They're going to be taken from, you know, hurricanes down south, put in shelters up here. And we're going to see even more dogs in shelters. So this is why we're trying to get the word out that October is Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. So important to get the word out. Yes. So, and I think a lot of folks, though, don't really know what fostering entails. So how do you yeah. describe that to them and kind of uh, give them the info they need? So the, the thing is, not everyone can adopt a dog, right? You know, maybe we're having a, a change in our house. A lot of people are buying new houses right now or selling their house or it's just not the right time. You know, I have kids, they just started school and it's not, you know, the ideal time to adopt. But you can foster. Detroit Dog Rescue has a foster program. In particular, we have mini sessions so you can foster for one week. Okay. And hang out, have a best bud for one week. Give them, you know, the best week. Take them to the park, do all the fun things. Uh, take them to a Lions game if you want. You oh, know, that'll you work You can do out whatever, well. and I'll go, I'll go with. It'll be great. Um, but, you know, and you can bring the dog back after a week and tell us how that dog did. But it also gets the dog out of the shelter, lets them decompress. You get to have fun with the dog. You're not responsible for medical. You're not responsible for food. There's literally no cost except for maybe a little piece of your heart. And that's what we need right now is we need to get dogs out of shelters any way that we can, even if it's just for a mini session for a week. And then you fall in love with that dog during that week, I right? Mean, that's you the said hard it. Part, you right? said it. You know, that's a good snack. I didn't say that. You said it. But yes, it can happen, you know, and we end up do seeing kind of a rise in adoptions from this program, which is great. But I always want to say there is absolutely no pressure. Just helping to get a dog out for a week is, it's, I mean, it's just a great thing for the dog, for the shelter, and probably for you too. Probably, for sure. And then there's a dog, there's a fostering challenge going on right now. There what is. can you tell us dun, about dun, that? Dun. So, you know, Michigan, Michigan State game's coming up, and uh, we want to see how many Michigan fans are going to foster for a week, and how many state fans are going to foster for a week through the month of October. Oh, smart idea. And we're going to be announcing some big things for the winners. So okay. we'll see who wins. But if you're a state fan, we want you to fill out an application. If you're a Michigan fan, we want you to fill out an application. DetroitDogRescue.com. And I'm not going to say which football team is in on the challenge, but we want to Oh, see. but one is. All right, but so that's is. a pretty good hint. You probably can't give us too many hints can't on give the prizes. You too many. I can't give you too many All hints, right, but, but that's a, definitely a good tease. <laughs> and we just shared uh, the details as well with our viewers. Can we share those one more time? I think we have them and where folks can find you as yeah. well. There we go. Yeah. We've got it up on the screen. Yeah, and you can always go to DetroitDogRescue.com and fill out a foster survey. If you have a question, you want to volunteer, anything, we're there, right there. All right, good stuff. Right. Thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate thank it. You. You're going to have to you, come back you. and tell us how folks do with that challenge and who wins. Oh, I will. I will, for sure. All right. <laughs>